Yo, hey guys, Wix here, back with another video. This is going to be a continuation of our new profile series. So last episode we've beaten the Ranger on uh, NG1, so he's in NG2. Everything is NG2 except for the Warlock now. So we're going to be doing a Warlock run here today. Alright, um, let's go ahead and just set up everything real quick. So we actually have 18 stars to work with. Need to go spin those. Uh, I'm just gonna roll for Amulet of Kings. I feel like it's a solid one right now. Um, you could go for like Scepter. Maybe I will go for Scepter here. Mm. It's kind of a an issue of like damage versus defense and what's better for you. I usually go on the side of uh of defense, but we did do that for the uh, the sorcerer. So I'm gonna try this on the warlock. And just kind of see how it goes. I expect it to be a little harder, but we do still have all the upgrades from uh, from before. Like we have all the upgrades that is offered in the town, so it should be okay. Um, crafting an item. Um, I may just attune and craft the pickaxe off the start. Could go for the wand spell piercing, just have even more damage. Kind of up to you what you want here. If I was going for stats, I'd definitely go for the the one spell piercing. I feel. Uh, I don't want to spend nine stars on it. I think I'm just going to craft the pickaxe here just to get a little more or gain. I mean, if you can't craft, it's not really a big deal. General trap, safe corridors, consumables. Don't care about that. Um, mysterious guidance. This looks pretty good. It's uh, completely even. Let's try to see what cracks. Yeah, it looks fine. And let's spend some skill stars. So, oh, I didn't have my Stormlash rank too. All right, we have Stormlash now. So we should be doing tons of damage this time. Uh, for drinks, I'm going to go Smelly Old Man. I'll go Miner's Delight, Fool's Errand. I don't want to reduce my attack power quite yet, so I'm going to keep that. Um, I'm also going to go for the increased movement speed. And that should be about all I need. Not too worried about anything else here. Could go for random stuff like Crazy Eye just to deal more crit. Maybe I'll go Lazy Stroll. I'll go Lazy Stroll just to try to get, because I'm uh, 7 levels behind. I'm 18. I need to go up to 25. So I'll get the extra XP and see if that'll uh, if that'll get me there. Alright, so I think we've done everything except for convert our ore and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's, uh, actually, I'm going to convert it to gold. So I'm going to upgrade another character. So I'm just going to log on someone else. Basically, start buying upgrades for everyone. Can I buy the next chapel? I can. Okay. It's going to be main regen for the priests for sure. I guess I'm just going to start buying all the, the priest upgrades. Knock these characters out. Alright, so I'm going to sell all my ore. And I mean, some of these upgrades like don't matter at all right now. Um, like a lot of this stuff is way more health than what I have, but I'm gonna buy them all before I really play this character. So just uh, just kind of whatever. Uh, I'm actually gonna with leech here. I like leech on the priest just to help things out. Okay, so that should be good. We're ready to start. So back to the Warlock, trying to get our 7 levels, starting with damage items, anything else we're missing. What? I don't have the other blessings on this character? Did I not get all the upgrades for this character? Okay, well we might just roll without the blessings because we just bought them on another character. Wow, what? 
Okay, well, um, technically I have a couple options here. I could quickly do like a paladin run and then come back to the priest. Uh, I guess I don't really need that stuff. All right, so we're gonna do it without the, without the bonuses, but that's something I have to remember for the future to get that stuff. Wow, I can't believe that. All right, it's NG, NG1, here we go. Can you, can you please pick up the rest of it? I could have sworn I had all the upgrades. I guess I just missed that one. I wonder if that means I don't have all the magic shop upgrades. Let me see. Uh, I must, because uh, my stats are looking pretty good. Yeah, 15 spell crit. I think that's about right. I guess it could just be my mana cost would be lower. Because um, I'd probably take the chapel bonus to uh, have less cost. <clears throat> and then what do I get for the final tier? Probably Divine Strike. Die down there. And I was even considering gambling that ore. Oh. Really thought we had all the upgrades. Oh well. Look at enlightenment. I mean, so far the uh, the run's been going good. Um, we have XP drink, which will help. We also have the XP item, so we should at least be able to get all of our XP stuff. I really don't think the uh, upgrades are necessary. But it would just make it faster, so. Sometimes it's all about the speed. Alright, we got our shop on the second floor. That's why we're picking up, like, every piece of gold on the previous floor, just in case that happened. Sustain looks pretty good. Um, we don't have any health regen because uh, we took the the drinks, and yeah, everything's coming from our primary pretty much. Or actually, double diamonds from chest. Isn't that something? See what the shop has for me. I don't have a lot of gold. Uh, it's, um, I'm gonna go with speed, armor, and I guess I'll go mail of thorns as well. I consider the crit just to have crit on my primary. I have more crit on my primary. So I'd probably skip this middle section if there wasn't a lead in there. But I want the chance of having more items. Even though it feels like we don't really need them. Like, we feel pretty strong right now, but, I mean, obviously I can't fight, like, Thunder Snow right now, but, uh, I probably would be okay if, you know, the whole run I missed out on, like, five items or something wouldn't be the end of the world. I could probably still do it. That's what I mean. But I picked up the boots of uh, 
or greets the barbarian. Just because I wanted to go a little faster. Trying to keep this run a little shorter. I just feel like we need slightly more damage. Some of that stuff took a little, I don't know, took a little too uh, too long to kill. We'll see how the, uh, the Guardian does. Shield breaker. <laughs> uh, that's kind of yikes. All of our damage is magical, and that ignores armor, so a little awkward there. Increase our non-existent physical damage. Well, there's a button off the bat. That's kind of cool. Blood dagger, more ways to sustain. That guy kinda hurts. Like one arrow is like a quarter of my life. So if I'm not sustaining, I'm like dying, essentially. <laughs> Dying pretty quickly. That might be kind of scary when we get to the Wisp. How's the memory today? Seems pretty good. Alright, Heart Seeker. Oh, there's some crit for our primary. Helps our sustain a little bit. But every little bit adds up, and then you start getting like full health and mana just from attacking stuff. Uh, hmm. Looks like they're trying to tell me something with the aberrations. Uh, I'll go Lifestone, and maybe I will go like Spike Flail and Aberrations. Could try to save up money and come back, but I don't feel like I need to. I can just kind of go. Would rather just continue on. Nice. 
nice king's armor. Maybe the physical damage from those archers won't be as scary now. It shouldn't be. I'll try to not clear out everything. I think I can get away with that. Might end up being like level 24 and so level 25, but it'll make the run that much faster. It's kind of appealing. Maybe like a stunner disarm item, I feel. Would, uh, would actually help a lot. Is that the encyclopedia? No, it's a construct one. Okay. It's like, is that the one that I just uh, passed up in the shop? It's always interesting when that kind of stuff happens. Right, another ring. We don't have health regen, so it's kind of lost on us, but we'll take the main regen, I guess. Alright, let's see the button. So far we haven't passed anything that needed the button. Hey, there's Blackjack. So now I have a way to stun. That's a lot of elites in there. Just don't want to stay too close to multiple of them at the same time. Will uh, in badly for me. Rapid blows, okay. It looks like the exit is down towards the south, so grab the stuff while I'm up here. <clears throat> Make our way back around. Those elites, no items. Oh well. Right. Uh, I guess I left the elevators on. I guess that's fine. Alright, so back two down. Oh, I missed. Okay, let's try that again. Ooh, gold chest. Seal of Rage. Ugh. I was excited for a gold chest. I think I can afford to skip a good amount of stuff now. Still want to pick up like easy gold, but I'm not trying to like guard my way to get everything right now.
Alright, so it's two statues down. One more to go, but where exactly is it? I guess it has to be in this corner. Yeah, there it is. Hey, spellbook. More damage, please. Regeneration. Eh. Regeneration kind of falls short, doesn't it? I'm getting a lot of regeneration shrines whenever we have a, a drink on, but we can't get any regeneration. Uh, bronze cave are there, but I don't think I need it. I still have 20 keys. Wow, shop every second floor and none on the third floor. Uh, so shop's by the exit. I'm gonna pick up gold before I get to shop this time. Because I've been skipping it for the most part. And uh, I'm gonna be back around here anyway. I wanna make sure I have enough gold and I don't want items that I see in the shop to show up in other places. Old Beaver. Okay, that's kind of dangerous. That's a lot of archers. statue. I also see a necromancer over here. We got him. Pretty decent time to find an old map, actually. I just kind of zoom now. So, one statue left. A little bit of money left, and uh, yeah, we're good to go. We have like a lot of monuments, too. Or not monuments, uh, yeah, monoliths. They're not that great. One actually does nothing. One is only for gold. And then the last one is just attack speed, which is okay. It's like, I gave it like decent on the, uh, the Warlock. Just gives you more instances to attack and put your dot on things. So you get faster chances at leeching and getting your mana back. Seems alright. Uh, I'm gonna just, I guess, add more stuff to my primary. This reduces my mana cost by 20 as well, so I'll take that, add some to the primary, and I'll just take some armor. The other two items don't really do anything for me. The seal and the penance are kind of meh. the carries. Hopefully I don't need potions at any point. I would go ahead and do the trap, but it's kind of dangerous when there's a lot of like archers and stuff. Um, Cause they'll just kind of shoot you on top of you, taking all this extra trap damage. That's the thunder god, huh? Oh, that's a lot of enemies right there. Like a ton of enemies. I 
I'm looking forward to getting a, a higher rank of uh, Eye of the Storm, just to have it up 100% of the time. But I felt like getting the, the passives were better. Easier on my mana and all of that. Okay, so we have another monolith um, in our last statue. Greater insight. Hmm. Wish that would have been one of the uh, the first statue or first models we would have found. Got sequence completed. Guy didn't drop any items, so I'm just gonna roll out of here. We'll at least have the XP bonus for the next act, act four. Maybe a little in Act 5, but it's going to be kind of iffy if uh, we keep it to Act 5. It would be great, but a little iffy. Three of them landed at the same time. It's kind of cool. I don't know if I've like really ever seen that. Two down. This guy's got a ton of health though. We'll attack his statue a little bit. Right, I'm gonna try to just stock up some mana so I can. I basically use all my skills at once. Didn't quite work out. Uh, that hurts. Okay, gotta run from that. Cool, and we leveled, so didn't have to use the potion there. So level 20, five levels to go. Um, we can maybe do it. Rapid blows. We just got rid of it, now we got it back. I don't know what I actually would have wanted. I guess some kind of defensive option would have been great. I feel it's kind of all about the combo in here for the Warlock. Uh, 
I can like stay in combo and I'm always like hitting stuff and pretty much do whatever I want. Maybe avoid projectiles a little bit. Ooh, that hurt. Alright, I know I missed some buttons and some secrets. Alright, so there's a button. There was a crack in the wall a little lower. I'll go back for that in a moment. Not having combo feels kind of sad. Alright, um... Getting close to being done with this floor. We have one more book to get. And... Yeah. That crack in the wall. Maybe there's another button that I missed, but... Oh yeah, this one over there. Pincered in. Is there anything up there? Uh, it doesn't really look like it, so I think I'm just gonna get out of here. This is like the place where I have the highest chance of dying in this run, I feel. So, it's gonna kind of move on. We have the gold fever, so like, we probably have gotten enough gold just from the extra bits. And then also we have uh, the XP. And I kind of value the XP more than just walking around getting nothing. Uh, hello? Got like, kind of stuck. in there. Which kind of works out because we just picked up uh, extra potion charge. Another monolith bonus. Hopefully that's a defensive one. I want to grab it before I lose one of these so I don't get the same one again. Regeneration. Of course. Of course that's what it is. Okay. Um, I mean, we're on the second floor. I know it's like we're starting to feel the struggle. Alright, so we need to loop back around, do that part, and I don't really think there's anything up here a bunch of things that want to kill us. Oh, I see a button actually. Alright, so I think that was the elevator. We'll go around, kill some more stuff. I went the wrong way. So it'll also be the last book we need, so if things get like too crazy we can just leave. Uh. 
Those red wisps. Playing a character that has no way of uh, avoiding damage is kind of crazy. Poor Warlock. It's a pretty decent time to level. Don't have to worry about leeching if you level. Alright, and all the way back at the top. We'll make our way up there. That's what level we're up to. Up to 21. Still have a little bit of a shrine left, but yeah, it's really not going to get past this act. If there's a button. Yes, we will see what we get. Chest. Alright. It's a speed. I'll oh, take some extra speed. Oh, I keep like tripping over an eyeball. I was trying to move backwards, and one was like standing directly behind me. Much needed magic resist. I'll take that. Alright, I see the shop. So I think that was the gambler up there. So we're gonna start heading to the north. Things aren't too crazy. I okay, heard how many hits my character took. Let me just like leech through all of it. Kind of scary being a leech tank, especially without having leech on your uh, your skills yet. Yeah, you get kind of chunked often. As long as you're hitting stuff, you kind of come back. All right, so there's the exit. Worst item. Uh, worst item. can probably go to like the vendor then sell the vendor coin. Let's try to get rid of the seal. Let's see if we can get a, a blue item. I yeah, boost the giant. That's way better. And what we got here? Seal of souls, mana stone. I'll take the mana stone. Also want to take the lucky charm I feel. And do we want to set up to get potion charges? Or go for the the combo spheres? We can't get the health regen, so it'll just be mana. I feel like we don't need the mana. So Seal of Souls or Apothecary Flask. I'm gonna go Seal of Souls. Maybe greedy, just get more damage. I think either one could be pretty good here. Jump through the portal. Ace chest, see you later. Uh, so there's a couple ore we can go after. That's really about it. Still have a little bit of our XP monolith. So unless it's like tons of wisp, um, I think we should be fine. Ouch. We got hit like four of the projectiles from the same the same wisp. Oh that's a lot of wisps and a lot of ghosts. We got our money, let's get out of here. Oh, we have another button. Uh, I didn't see where it was. Let's see if there's anything cool up top. Looks like it might have been the mana. Oh no, that's uh, for that one. Yeah, I don't see anything cool. Oh, a silver chest, okay. So that's what it was for sure. So let's grab that and then we'll go fight the Watcher. 
Apothecary Mortar and Pestle. Okay, so we're one item away from the Apothecary 4 set. We want to start relying on potions a little more. I don't know if we'll find it, but that's where we're at. We didn't phase. It seemed like he was phasing. Okay. Yeah, our damage isn't exactly where we want it to be. Feels a little bit on the low end, even with the scepter. It's kind of crazy. Durpin. Okay, next one is nighttime. Darkness. So I think he was over here somewhere. I tried to uh, place it in the same spot. Where he comes down at. Close, not quite. Alright, so that one's done. Crimson phase. Seems like we're actually pretty tanky. Dang it. I'm forgetting exactly where he's, uh going up at. Can I just tank? I'd just be able to actually tank. It's a... Uh, not the like, best, but it works. I can probably sustain as long as he's in his normal phase, so... Once he goes uh, invulnerable and flies away, then can't sit there anymore. Need to run out. Right, so it should be right here. <laughs> that was close. Alright. Uh, use our potions, I guess. Yeah, I keep getting confused and unconfused at, like, the wrong time. Let's try to burst. Alright, burst is good. And we found the Amulet of Kings. So, that's what's up. Free little assassin's dagger as well. All right, so we have our um, apothecary set that we can maybe complete. Get our potions back, just in case we end up needing them. I don't know if we will. Curios. A yeah, mage main, that'll increase our damage. As long as they can be affected by debuffs, that'll increase our damage. I guess those mages are going to be a little scary. chest and then also look at getting the monolith just in case um, 
It's XP or something. that spear we were avoiding earlier. Sundering strikes, uh, that's okay. More penetration, I guess. Pockets. I'm not too worried about the elite right now. Um, 22. Give me an item. Alright, lucky hat. It's a decent pickup. Would definitely help our damage just with uh, getting procs from Mage Bane and critting. Alright, what else we got on this floor? We got our shop, that's right. We'll have a little, uh, couple chests to get. Alright, we get the wand of spell piercing, Markham's wand, and I guess Storm Collar. Just to do even more damage. I feel like damage is uh, what I'm lacking the most now. Twenty-two. Could come more stuff, but um, kind of just looking to uh, get through this run at this point. I think we'll be able to hit twenty-four, and I'll be happy with that. catch up in levels later. Monster Manual Beast. Uh, so we have two piece Markham's. We'll probably just make a Markham Stone or something. Now we have three piece and we're about to go into the area with all the ore. So it kind of does two things for us at once.
Tell me to set up my statues, he like flies across the room. For my gargoyles. So get some damage in where you can. Nice. Alright, that makes the three piece kings. Alright, so I'm just gonna zoom around, pick up the war, um, kill some stuff along the way, but not super worried to be honest. Take monolith buffs as well. Four chance events, pretty decent. I think we have a good bit of tricks are set. Stop it. Okay, last floor, and then we can go fight the old dragon. We did pick up an ace key, that's kind of cool. Hopefully get something that's uh, just a little meaningful. Alright, more crit on our skills. Seems good. Uh, what else do I need to go for? Do we even need to go south? There's some like gold diamonds to guess is worth. Not too worried about getting much more like poor gold out of this run. the casters a little bit more.
Knocking me off the thing. Okay, now it should be okay. And we got Spear Cloak. Spear Cloak's okay. I uh, want to keep our Mons buffs, so it's kind of, kind of why we're rushing a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to try to drop some Gargoyles close to him. If he takes all that damage. And from there, I'm just going to be trying to avoid Stomps and Breath. While I try to get close enough to keep some Dragon stuff going on. It's a little difficult to fight as a, a Warlock. Get hit by that one. Use a potion just in case. I know I'm stubborn with potions. Want to make sure. All right, we got 24 off of killing dragon, so that's cool. Yeah, let's look at the stats real quick. Uh, damage dealt 4 mil, and 3.3 was magical, and the run took 48 minutes. So there we go. Uh, Ng one down on all classes, so we can go spend our stars real quick. And I guess I'll convert some ore so I can buy the chapel bonuses. But yeah, um, from here, I'm gonna pick up Soul Cleaver for sure. Extended Domain, I want all the range I can get. Kept complaining about Orb of the Storm, or Eye of the Storm, so I want another rank of that. And that one costs 12, that one costs eight. So I get four Gargoyles, or I could have Eye of the Storm three. Maybe we go Eye of the Storm three, just because I want the 100% of time. And... I think this one's 50 and then the next one's 100, so let me see real quick and I'll buy that. Um, so I'm going to go decrease mana cost of skills. So my mana cost increased, it was like what, 120, and then I bought two ranks and went up to 180, then I bought the Chapel Blessing, so now it's down to 135. Uh, 700, we'll just buy both of them. The rest of the stuff's going to go for upgrades anyway. And yeah, we can buy our last Chapel bonus. Divine Strike. Choose Divine Strike just because it's magic damage and the Warlock attacks pretty quickly. So I like it for that. Uh, Warlock Primary is also a little difficult to aim, so I like having the auto aim with the strike. It's kind of nice. Anyway, that's the Warlock run. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.